That's not how you want to do it. Well, unfortunately, I have an accident to report. I feel like this is an OSHA meeting or something, but I do want to tell you guys what happened. Uh, it wasn't severe, but it was very painful. OSHA meeting, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about this. This information could help you because they definitely could have helped me and I would have avoided some pain. So what happened to me? I was cutting at the miter saw, been cutting at a miter saw for every week of my life for the past 12 years, and it becomes second nature. As carpenters, as woodworkers, we become complacent to these tools, and they, they bite back, guys. They will, they will get you. Thankfully, though, I did not suffer any permanent injury. I still have all my fingers, so that's a good thing. That's always a win as a carpenter, woodworker, when you can come home with all fingers, it's a good day. But I did get a, a nice little pain in my left thumb here and some blood under the thumbnail. And thankfully, we were filming that day. So I have the footage here to show what happened. It was on site, it was on the Capex here. It was not on this saw here or any of my other saws in my other trucks, but it could have happened to any saw. It's not the brand. Don't say, oh, it's the Festool. It's not the Festool. It could have had, it's just because of what the conditions were. So let me show you. We'll jump into the footage here and analyze it. I'll tell you what I think happened. Let's check it out. Here's what we were doing. I want to tell you about what led up to this because it does contribute to my mentality of where my mind was at, right? Because my first experience cutting brass was not good. That's what we were doing. We we're cutting brass. And that just tells you right off the bat, unusual conditions. The first time I cut brass was like three weeks ago when we cut this giant thing right here. This is an off cut of it. But this was crazy. This is three quarters inch wide by three eighths thick solid brass. Come to this morning, got another brass job for you. You're gonna take these three 12 foot long pieces of brass. These are half inch wide by quarter inch tall, true half rounds. You're gonna rip them down on your table saw to make them true quarter rounds, quarter inch by quarter inch. So I, I'm like, okay, we're gonna rip this 12 foot thing. This is gonna be nuts. So basically what I did was I built a channel, a channel to send this thing through and it kept pressure against the fence and pressure down on the table. And essentially what you do is you just send the brass through and it doesn't let it come up, it doesn't let it go to the side. And what you get on the other side is a perfectly milled piece of brass. And it, it worked, it worked. And I was like, confidence is high, here we go. I thought this was gonna take most of the day. So let's just go cut, cut these little brass pieces now. Are you kidding me? Have you seen what I can do? This would be easy. And I just ripped down these long 12 foot pieces of brass. All I have to do now is take the capex and go cut these little pieces. Piece of cake, it'll go so quick. That's where I messed up because I, I didn't think like, all right, we're gonna take it slow. So that gets us up to this point. Like I'm looking at this now for the first time on my screen here. I looked at it on the little camera the day it happened. Like we immediately looked at it just to see what we thought happened. And I think I went plenty slow because from the time I pulled that trigger on the saw till right about now, boom, it's 37 seconds about, somewhere right around in there. So I don't think it was a, a speed thing. I don't think I was going slow enough. Here's what I think happened. If you look at the beginning of that footage, look at how much I'm going to cut off. And you can barely see it at the very beginning, hanging over that cut line. It's like three eighths of an inch. So it, it may be even a little less than that. I think that was the problem because if you look at that zero clearance that I'm cutting through, that little jig that we just threw on the saw to keep brass from flying and getting pulled back, I've already been cutting through that. I already made more cuts this day. This wasn't the first cut of the day, but this is the first small off cut cut of the day. And that's what did it. It wasn't the speed like I was thinking, like, oh, I just need to go slow because all these other applications, that was the problem. And here it is again. You just see my thumb. I'm gonna play that back one more time right when it happens. Just look at my thumb. You can see it just like, I jam, it basically jammed. Like if you ever, when you're throwing the football around and you, you know, you close your hand prematurely and it kind of just 
jams you. That's what that felt like. But it was like worse because it kind of bent into my thumbnail and it made it bleed underneath. And it was, I mean, immediately pain going. And if you look at my hand, like I'll finish playing this out. It happens again, boom. And then look at my hand right there. My hand, I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I'm thinking about that or what. I just know this hand hurts. Hold it down to your side. That freaked me out. And we'll watch it in slow motion. I slowed it down. But look at my hand. Like when you're holding a piece of brass like that or like something, you know when you're cutting something at the miter saw you're like unsure of, you're kind of more tense. You're like, no, I'm not going to let you go anywhere. And you can see like the veins in my hand. I mean, you can kind of always see the veins in my hand. But I've got pressure on that piece. And I think that's what made it worse. I'm like holding it hard with my thumb, but there's, I just can't hold it. It's just obviously, it's gonna push my thumb away and kick back. And that's what happened. It just, just bent that brass as you saw. So there you have it guys. There's my worst power tool injury to date. Hopefully this is the last one. I'm gonna try to be careful out there. My worst, you know, non-power tool related, but job site related injury was I stepped on a finish nail from a board we ripped out. We were demoing some trim, had a stack going. I stepped near the stack, stepped on a board. That finish nail went through the shoe, through the sock, through my skin, hit the bone. And when I think about that, I can still like summon that feeling up. Like it hurt, it was bad. So be safe out there, um, you know, I'm just being safety officer today. So OSHA meeting is adjourned. Thank you for attending this OSHA meeting. And if you made it this far in the meeting, I'm gonna be doing something special. I'm gonna be giving away this brand new Stiletto Square that Stiletto sent me. And I'm gonna give it to one of you guys. They gave me two of these, keeping one for myself, giving one away. And they actually gave me this little guy here. I'm also keeping that for myself. So don't even think about that one. You just think about this one. To enter to win this one, all you have to do is drop a comment below and tell me your worst injury. You do that, you're automatically entered to win. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be a professional tradesman or whatever. It could be on a DIY project. It could be, you know, any type of project where you got hurt. I wanna learn about it because honestly, if I can learn from it from your mistakes and I don't have to make those mistakes, that's a win for me and a win for everyone. And it's not that the craziest like injury is gonna win. So don't make up some story like, oh yeah, I, I cut my head off and now I don't have a head. Like that's not what's gonna win it. It's just anything. I got a splinter unloading the lumber or you know, whatever. But just anything enters you to win this and then I'll ship this out to one of you guys. But yeah, this is Stiletto's brand new square. So thankful for them to send me these. So I wanna just share it. It's the season of giving, but I'm not giving this one away. I'm sorry. That's just too cool. It's too perfect for the tool belt. But there you go, guys. Hopefully this helps you avoid an incident. And yeah, let me know your injuries down below. I'll see you next time.